The Spa Pro Digital 5-in-1 Facial Machine offers many wonderful tools for spa professionals. This video will cover all the features of the unit as well as basic troubleshooting. Let's begin. There is a large tray for holding tools, towels, and anything else you might need. The metal stand is included, but you can remove the unit and put it on a tabletop if you'd like. The wheels make it extremely easy to move around. Make sure the power cord is plugged into the back of the unit and into an outlet. The first tool that we'll look at is the vacuum. Here is where you plug the tubing in. The white tubing plugs into the unit. Choose one of the three included vacuum tips. Push the tip into the red tubing end. Then turn the vacuum on. Each vacuum tip has a hole on its top that must be covered, otherwise a vacuum won't be created. This gives technicians more control. If the suction isn't enough, simply turn this knob to increase it. Vacuum is great for cleaning out pores by removing embedded dirt and debris. It also increases blood circulation and helps to eliminate wrinkles. When you're done, turn the vacuum off. Next we'll look at the spray tool. Take the black tubing and plug it into the unit. Put water into the spray bottle and twist the cap back on. Connect the spray bottle to the black tubing end. To turn it on, use this button. To make water come out, simply cover the hole on the top of the bottle. Spray is great for cleaning the skin thoroughly. Now we will look at the high frequency tool. When plugging the handle in, simply line this gap up with this hole. There are three different electrodes included with the unit. Put one of them into the high frequency handle. Turn the high frequency on. You control the intensity with this knob. With any tools that have adjustable intensity, we recommend starting at a low intensity and checking with the client. If they are comfortable with more intensity, you can increase it. High frequency offers a great deal of benefits, including stimulating blood circulation, increasing glandular activity, killing germs and bacteria, and helping products go deeper into the skin. When you're done, make sure to turn the high frequency off. Next, we will check out the facial brush. The plug looks the same as the high frequency plug. The gap here goes on top. Five different brush attachments are included. It's easy to attach and detach the accessories. This button controls the power for the brush and galvanic tools. Next, push the brush button. Make sure the timer is greater than zero, otherwise the brush will not turn on. The rotation of the brush goes clockwise and counterclockwise. You can increase or decrease the spin speed with the energy controls. The facial brush deeply cleans pores and removes dirt and debris. When you're done, turn the brush off. Finally, we'll look at the galvanic system. There are three galvanic accessories. There's a negative probe, a rolling probe, and a ball probe. The negative probe plugs in here. Choose either the rolling probe or the ball probe and plug it in here. Turn the power on. Make sure to set the timer. Set the energy level. Push this button to turn the galvanic on. Now it's ready to use. The client will hold the negative probe. During a treatment, you would apply a conductive gel or serum to the treatment areas. Then begin using the positive galvanic probe. The electric current pushes products deeper into the skin. When you're done, make sure the galvanic is off. If the unit is plugged in but it won't turn on, it could mean that the fuse is bad. Before checking the fuse, unplug the unit. The fuse is located where the power cord plugs into the back of the unit. Use a screwdriver to remove the fuse holder. 
Inspect the fuse. If the metal inside is broken or melted, it will need to be replaced. Replace the fuse with another of the same rating. If you don't know what the fuse's rating is, you can take it to a hardware store and they will be able to find you a replacement. Thank you for your interest in the Spa Pro Digital 5-in-1 Facial Machine. If you would like to learn more about it, you can click the link on the top left corner of the video screen. Thank you.